Hello, my YouTube family. It is Thursday. Thank you, Jesus. Thursday, August, um, what is it? 18th. Let's get started, shall we? I came home a little late, but there's still a little bit of light, so I might as well take advantage of the situation. So here we go. Again, not prepared. I'm, I'm really beginning to be bad at this. I really am. Oh, I'm so not prepared that, um, mm, yeah, I put my eyeliner and my mascara back in the drawer. So I don't have them to show you. My bad. Okay, we're going to go with go straight to blush then. Straight to blush and lip gloss. This is going to be a real short face of the day. Um, Hypnose. Definicils was the is the mascara I'm wearing. It's the mini one. Pretend that it's here. The black little small one. Yeah, the Lancome. Yeah. That's what I use as the mascara. Mm-hmm. That's what I use as the mascara. The eyeliner, I wish I could remember what it is, but I can't. So, I'm not going to bust my brain about it. It's just an eyeliner. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to go straight to cheeks. And as you can see, there's a little, hmm, there's a little bit of color left. Yes, honey. The very last. True Match Blush is what I'm wearing in the color Subtle Sable. Subtle Sable Blush. No, this one's not going in the La Garbaggio because it has color to it. Not only does it have color to it, I did not realize this until this morning. It has a bit of shimmer, but it doesn't show up. But I looked at it really close, and I guess the light was hitting it just right you're not going to be able to see the shimmer in this see there is shimmer in there and it's not it's not boom in your face shimmer it's just ever so subtle and it to me it didn't show up on my cheeks so but the color showed up on my cheeks and that's the most important part so um this one saved itself from the la garbaggio this one saved itself, and the color is Subtle Sable. Can you see that? Subtle Sable. Very nice shade. This I will keep. Now, as for lips, which of course are almost gone as well, an oldie, an oldie, but a goodie. This is Revlon Lip Glossé. Hold it this way. Revlon Lip Glossé in Nordic Nude. Nordic Nude. A very, very, very nice lip gloss, by the way. Sure, I'll put it on. What the heck? It's called Nordic Nude, but it's really not a nude it's kind of like of the brown it's like a a cushiony creamy brown and you know I said I don't like creamy colors that much but this one I can get away with because I've obviously had it for a while can y'all see that it's kind of like a mm. kind of like a well this is what it looks like but I don't even know if it's gonna show up this is the shade it's kind of like a chocolatey brown I don't know where the name Nordic nude came from and it's not like the color turned it was always this shade so yeah Nordic nude very old they don't even sell it anymore um, I, I, I've always loved this they came in like three and I think I bought all three one was plush purple which I don't know if I still have. This one, Nordic Nude. And I don't remember what the third one was. But I remember back in the day, I could say that, because that's how far and old these things are. 
back in the day, that's what it, they came in, in a triplet, like a triplet set, but not in a case. It was like in a display on CBS or Dwayne Reed or whatever, and the three, and they had just come out, and it was in a special kind of area. I remember that. I distinctly remember that. So that's what I'm wearing on my lips, and it's a, it's, it's a nice shine, a subtle shine. It's not bam, you know, stand on the street hooker. It's not that at all. And I guess, I guess that's it. I guess that is it. This is the shortest video I've ever made. But then again, you see me rambling, right? So it could, it could go on. I have no stories. I have, I'm thinking, nothing major happens at work. I did have work. But see, my work was kind of stunted. Here goes the story. My, my work was kind of stunted because I started to do like the part A of my work. Then the part B came along and I have to wait for somebody else to do the part B. I send the information to this other person and then they have to come back with it to me with the answers. So I did that part and she didn't get to part B. So as she was rushing out the door, she said, oh, I'll get to, I'll get to your stuff tomorrow. No skin off my nose. I did my part. I did my part. I cannot continue until you do your part and then return it back to me. So, hey, tomorrow's another day. Tomorrow's the end of the week. Hopefully we'll get it done by the end of the week. It's not an ASAP kind of a thing. It's just, you know, we'd like to do this kind of particular work at the end of each week because the next week comes and there's a whole new batch to come. So that was that. And that's my story. That's sad, right? I have nothing to say. Of course, there is this, hmm, I don't even know if I should get into it. I'll, I'll start it. I'll, 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 well, I'm this far in, right? I might as well just dive in. Um, okay, on Facebook today, somebody brought up a discussion topic of the political aspect. And mind you, people. I am so not a political person at all, at all. But the thread started and I was interjecting here and there. And then the person who posted and I got in a discussion and the rest of everybody just dwindled away. So then it's just not him, me, him, me, him, me, him, me. Can I say it was rather draining but fun at the same time? I love debates. I love intelligent, intellectual debates. Even though I'm, I am a fish out of water when it comes to politics, I think I pretty much held my own. I think I did. I'd like to think I did. In certain areas, I'm naive to the situation. And I mentioned that to him and he was cool. He even explained certain things to me, and I was very happy about that. At least he was patient enough to do that. But the debate just kept going, and it just kept going, and it just kept going. And I'm like, wow, this is going on and on. And then it was time for me to go to lunch. So I had to say, look, I, I can't continue this because I have to go to lunch now. But, you know, we ended on a, you know, civil note, and... um you know, he wasn't arguing with me. I wasn't arguing with him. It was not an argument. It was a heated discussion. No foul language or anything of that nature. None of, none of that. We're both adults. Um, he held his point of view, and I think I did fairly well in holding my end. And um, I was kind of proud of myself, actually, because everybody else who was in the thread just disappeared. And then he kept posting, and then I kept posting. And I'm waiting for somebody else to interject and say whatever they need to say. And nothing was going on. And then the rest of the thread was just him and I. I mean, it had to be at least about an hour's worth. Maybe even more of him, me, him, me, him, me, him, me, him, me, him, me. It was insane. But I had so much fun. 
And yes, I was doing this while I was at work, while I was working. I mean, there were times that I would post something and then somebody else would interject and I'm answering the phones and I'm taking messages, I'm watching people. And I'm like, I'm looking at the thread and I'm like, oh Lord, you know, it's getting away from me. It's getting away from me. So then finally, when I could go back to the post, I was like, okay, hold on, hold on. Give me time to read back what I, what, what I missed out on. And then I had to kind of catch up and then I continued on. And believe it or not, they actually waited. <laughs> they actually waited for me. And then boom, I went right into the thread. And then it was just, it was just constant. It was just constant. It was fun. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. Now, mind you, it was exhausting. It was exhausting because I'm trying to make my point and he's making a valid point and I think I'm making my valid point. But it got a little, it got a little scratchy at first because he was like, what are you talking about? How, I can't believe this is such a stupid point you're making. And I was like, wait a minute. Oh, whoa, back it up. We don't have to get demeaning now. Come on now. It's just a discussion. We're not arguing here. And then we just kept going. And we just kept going. It was cool. It was very cool. This guy is awesome. Before you start thinking the way you're thinking, no. He's a married man. He's a, he's a professional well-known to the metropolitan area. I can't go any further. I don't want to go any further because I don't want to divulge who he is and I don't think he'd want me to divulge who he, he is. Even though, yes, he has a Facebook page and I can just tell you who it is, but I'm not going to. I respect his privacy and if he wanted me to mention him, I would mention him. I'm not going to mention him. It's not like a whoo celebrity. It's not like Tom Cruise or Brad Pitt or anything like that, no. But he's known. Maybe not to everybody out there, but certain people that will be viewing this video, they know who I'm talking about. Anyway, before I, you know, before it gets too vague and too, you know, and I start losing everybody, I'm just gonna say that was my day. That was my day, I had a good day, it was a good day, and I am exhausted. I am exhausted of the day. I am exhausted of that conversation. I am exhausted, but it's a good, satisfying kind of exhaustion, you know? So I am going to chill out. I'm actually hungry. Can I tell you? Oh, yes, I'm, my dander is up again. Can I tell you? I had a rotten lunch. Rotten lunch. I don't even want to discuss it. It was bad, and I only ate part of it. So I'm still relatively hungry, so I just may eat dinner early tonight. And normally, you know, you know, I normally say, I'm not even going to have anything right now. Yeah, I'm kind of hungry right now. So that's just it. So I'm going to eat, and I'm going to relax and call it an evening. I love you, my YouTube family. I love you all. I love you all. Um, and I will talk to you tomorrow, hopefully. I don't see why I shouldn't unless I come home late or whatever or it rains or, you know, whatever the case may be. I love you. Have a good evening. You see, I'm kind of drained, right? Have a good evening and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye now.